Hi guys, welcome to my video on how to restring a guitar. A couple of things you're going to need. A guitar with old strings. A pack of new strings. I use Martin SP's 11 gauge. Some polish and a duster. While the strings are off you may as well give her a good clean. And a tuner. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get the strings off. So we've got access to the soundboard, give it a nice clean and the fretboard. Um, to do that, don't start pulling at these pegs. You'll either break the guitar or break your fingers. They, they won't come out. So you need to loosen up all the string. I find it, some people do it a string at a time. I find it best just to take all the strings off and um, I'll show you why in a minute. So just bear with me while I do this. loosen all the strings until I get to a point where I think I'll be able to roll the, the string over the top of the machine head by here um, and again that's just a time saving tip so where were we I'm gonna try and cut to a clip to inside the video inside the guitar now just to, which I took with the iPhone to show you what's going on so here we go okay so the strings are nice and loose, so what I'm going to try and do is, mm, still need a little bit more slack. Just unwind, one by one. Stab myself a few times. All the strings are off now, and the reason I like to take all the strings off at once is you can put your hand into the sound hole and push the pegs up through. If they've been sitting there a while, then they might be pretty stiff. Be so, take all the pegs out. Put them safe. And now you can pull all those out, wrap them up in a nice tidy ball for the bit. Okay, so I'm going to give this a bit of a polish and I'll be right back. So Martin SP's come with two strings in each pack. Uh, the first of the high strings and the first of the low strings. So here we've got the high E and um, the D string. So first off, you put your string in the hole along with the peg. And if you notice, the, the little notch has to be facing up the neck. Don't do this, the string will kink. And as soon as you start tightening, it'll snap. So pull that through uh, as tight as you can. This helps when you're tightening up at the machine heads. Uh, obviously don't kink the string but um, it'll stop the pegs popping miles out across the room later on. There's many ways to tie the knot in the machine head. Uh, I think I've got the easiest way so all you need to do is line up the hole so it's straight facing away from the guitar. The string always goes from the inside out so try and take up a little bit of slack and then just kink. Pull that tight down over the nut, which is just by here, the top of the guitar, as you can see. And to tune then, you turn it anti-clockwise. So, 
just do exactly the same thing on each of the machine heads always going from the uh, inside out um, some people might say this isn't secure but I've never had a string snap on the machine head and I've been doing this for 10 years so you can hear the string getting tighter and in tune now you just need to keep a finger on the peg just to make sure that it doesn't just pop out and cut you in the eye or something. So I'm going to start again. Put the peg in. Sometimes you need to just wriggle the peg to just feel that string pull tight. See, that's not going to come out of there. So kink. Careful what you're doing here. Make sure it's in the, the fourth place on the nut and away you go. Tighten up. Right, I'll uh, I'll finish the rest of the strings now and I'll come back for the low E. So here we are with the low E. This is the trickiest one. Go from the inside out as always. You won't need so much slack for this because the string is so thick. Um, kink. Put it in the slot on the nut and tighten up. Um, thing to remember when you first put new strings on, they're going to be very, very elastic. So take your time. I, what I normally do is find find the Tune every string up and then just give them a good pull and you'll hear straight away that's gone down again. So for example, let's get that up to E. We'll give that a tug and it's gone right the way down again. So take your time, tune the guitar up, tune every string because that will affect the bend on the neck which will obviously affect this tuning of the other strings. Give them a good tug and then um, start again. So we're pretty much done. Um, when your strings have settled down, you want to get some wire cutters, definitely not scissors because they'll just dent them, uh, and just trim off the excess strings on the machine heads, uh, and you're good to go. It'll look really smart, clean, especially with the knot that I've shown you. Um, and good luck, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you need any help, just send me a message. I will do my best to reply and uh, answer any questions. See you soon.